The 1% earners in America start at about $440,000 a year. If you make $440,000 a year, you are now in the 1% earners in America, one of the richest countries in the world. But people talk shit like, I'm gonna make a million bucks, acting like they don't realize that's a 1% thing, and then aren't willing to eat 1% shit. Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. My name's Alex, that's Kirby. And uh, I love this topic. I love what Gary Vee's talking about. So what are your thoughts on this? Uh, if I said I loved it, I'll be lying. I, I would honestly be lying. It's, I'm over the moon about it. I, I, um, <laughs> there's no words to explain from what he just said. And going to, you know, a reaction video we did before, um, or last week, uh, matter of fact, it's the part that resonated with me the most is when he said, people act like they're not trying to make 1%, you know, 1% income, but they're not willing to eat 1% of the shit. That is the reason, that's the part that resonates with me. It is hard to do these things. It's not just, oh, I showed up. I mean, I know, I know, I know. Social media makes it look like looks like it's easy. But it's not. I mean, I don't want to say fortunately, unfortunately, I'm in the 1%. But I had to deal with a shit ton of stuff down the road to get here. It's not easy as, oh, I woke up one day, I said I want to be in the 1%, and then Voila, here I am. I mean, many of the videos that you've seen, I mean, Alex, I told you about, you know, me thinking I was Superman landlord and uh, when the <laughs> tenant got hit, you know, I mean, I I've, I've went into the penny stocks and lost my lost my butt. I've, I've done some of the craziest things. I mean, when I say went to the penny stocks and lost my butt, I mean, literally lost my butt. I thought I was a day trader at a time. I thought I was doing this and that. Uh, I thought I was getting a steal. My first, you know, multifamily. I thought that, oh, I'm going to make a man off of this, not knowing that the whole place was crap and I had to rebuild, remodel that. And then once I started rebuilding and remodeling that, it caught fire and I had to start back over from scratch. It's a lot of crap you got to eat to get to this level. It's not just, oh, because I want to and show up that I'm going to be here. But that was the biggest part of the video that resonated with me. But uh, again, with what he said, everybody thinks that one per, the one percenters are people that's making millions and millions of dollars a day. But one percent, if you make a one percent, is really I'm not saying only because four hundred forty thousand dollars a year is not an only. I think now with inflation is like four seventy or something like that. But four forty a year is not a number to sneeze at. But people just think that, oh, I should just show up and make this money when and the truth is you got to eat a lot of crap to get there. But what you got on it? Absolutely true. Um, I mean, I'm not in the 1% yet, guys. I'm getting there. Root me on. <laughs> but uh, it's it's very true, everything. Um, I mean, like it's the there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make to get to that level. And I would say especially there's – a lot of i i think it's i think the biggest thing about it is it's uh it's mental you have to you have to be very strong mentally to be able to be in the 1% um there's a lot of things that you're that is that's going to put you under stress uh you're going to have to manage your stress you're going to have to understand that there's hard situations you're going to have to set aside your emotions and especially because at the same time, while you might be dealing with shit in the work environment of whether it be your business, your investing, your job, whatever it might be, where you're trying to uh, acquire whatever it is that you have as a goal. But life is also going to hit you, too. You might lose people close to you, whether it actually, you know losing relationships or you might lose people because of death and you're still going to have to be the same person pursuing those goals 
that you were the whole time. And uh, I think the guy's name is David Goggins, right? The guy that's the uh, ex Navy SEAL. Right. Right. He he mm-hmm. was talking about this where, you know, he prepares himself for um, the moment where he gets that call saying, "Hey, your mom's dead." You know, and it's because you have to be an individual where you have to be prepared for the worst where you're not going to be hit and, you know, fall on the floor because life is still life and you have to be, you still have to deal with the same thing. Many people, um, you know, I hear like you get like grievance days at work and, you know, like it's, it's understandable for like an employee side, but like when you're trying to be in the 1%, there's, you don't have the, uh, what do they call it in the army now that you were making fun of the the pause tickets or whatever? <laughs> the oh the, uh, the uh, <laughs> what was it? What was it called? I forgot. Like the, the timeout the... cards or something? I can't remember. Yeah, timeout cards or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah, there is none of that. Like, and um, you know, I mean, just stress cards, stress cards, stress cards, stress cards. Yeah, yeah. You're just gonna have to. I mean, there's it's that, and also you're not gonna be in the beginning. You're not gonna be enjoying the luxuries that you see on social media, um, right? And it's gonna be years until you get to actually enjoy that. And I think that people get so infatuated with social me uh, social media and seeing uh, different people showing off the stuff that they want to acquire that before going through the process. And what I like about what Gary V said is because the whole time he's describing you know, someone who can get to that. And especially what Jeff Bezos was saying, it's entrepreneurs, I believe, enjoy the process of being an entrepreneur. I think it's the actual, the path that they're on. They enjoy the work that they're provide or producing. Um, it's, it's the game. It's not the, it's not the luxury things in life. And I agree with you. And, me at the onset of this video, I said, "Yeah, I'm fortunately, unfortunately, probably one percent." It's not that I sit there with a a meter and say, "Oh, am I there yet? Am I am there yet?" It's not there. That's not what I do. What I do is I just keep executing the plan, keep executing the plan, and then when it hit me, once uh, you know, Gary Vee said what he said, and then you know, I looked it up what the one percent of income earners is in the United States. Then I'm like, "Oh, I'm in the one percent." But it's all about me executing. It don't. It's all about executing every day, every day, every day. I'm not executing to say, "Oh, I want this amount of money a day, this amount of money a day." Like Alex, I just called you and said, "Hey, I closed on a new deal." I didn't say, "Alex, I closed on a new deal." Oh, that takes me to this X amount of money a day. It's just me executing because I have goals on top of what money that it brings in. I have goals that hey, I want to have this set up. XYZ setup for legacy, for family tree setups and things like that to make sure my family is taken care of well after I'm done. And this is just a step along the process. How much money I make in that time is just how much money I make. Am I going to go out and eat and be a fat, fat ass? Yeah, I am. Because that's what I do. But for everybody else, you don't have to be me. But that's what I do. But besides that, it's all about the grind. When I closed on a deal two days ago, I think it was. One, two days ago, I forgot what day I closed. I closed on the deal. Well, I came out of contract. The deal don't close until, I think, 15 days from now. But I didn't say, oh, yeah, I made it. What I did was, okay, what's the next deal? I'm waiting to go to the next deal. And I'm already been setting up for the next deal to happen. And so I, after January, this deal will be done. Then I'm looking at February. February, I'm looking at March. March, I'm looking at April. To keep going on, keep going on. I'm not going to stop. Or slow down because, oh, I think, oh, I'm in the 1%. I've made it. I don't care if I made it. Because the truth is, if I go in here right now and tell my wife, oh, yeah, we made it. She's going to say, get your butt back in there and go make some more. <laughs> That's it. Not that we're going to go spend the money and go live in a lap of luxury. It's just that's what it's about. It's about the grind. It's about doing something more than yourself. And people don't want to do more than themselves. The only thing they care about themselves, like, oh, well, I did it, then everybody else got to get their own. Me, I care about doing it so generations after me can build upon that. And that's the real benefit and gratification that I have. I'm just going to eat. Everything else they can do with it, whatever they want with it. 
<laughs> no, I like that you said that too, because um, we were talking about this the other day. I don't think it was on camera, but uh, that it the average uh, wealth in a family lasts about three generations, I think it was. And right. um, we were talking about how there's only a few families in the world that have amassed billions or trillions of dollars and they've been wealthy for multiple and multiple generations, hundreds of years. And uh, being able to do that is very powerful, very interesting. But those are all. And, and that's, and that's a key, that's a, that's a key concept that I want to be one of those, you know, after the fact, I don't want to be just, you know, right. three generations, then my great grandkids, then, Jack off the money. I can't. I can't be that guy. I can't be that guy. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. And it takes a lot of discipline and knowledge and persistence to be able to do that for sure. All that being said, guys, uh, please like, comment in the comment section below. Uh, hit the thumbs up. You know, hit the subscribe button. You know, subscribe button is very important to us. So hit the subscribe button to help out the YouTube algorithm and all those things that go on behind the scene. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.